guys, I'm back with this week's episode of Simply Pickups. And uh, this originally was supposed to be a two-part video with last week's, but this part ended up turning out a lot longer than uh, part one. So I decided to just split it up into two separate videos. Um, because of that, when I filmed it, I never filmed an intro or an outro or anything. So that's what I'm doing right now. I actually have a bunch of cool stuff to show you guys this week. I got a Craigslist pickup, some garage sale finds, even some retail stuff, and uh, more trades from Instagram. So. Um, stay tuned and I'm gonna cut it right here and we'll get right into the pickup. All right, so the first trade I did was with a guy named Advanced Boss on Instagram. Uh, he's a really cool guy. I've been following him for a while and we've, you know, worked out a deal and um, he sent me this uh, power base converter, the Genesis. This is, lets you, um, you see the bottom, plugs into the Genesis. This works with a Model 1. And then it lets you play Master System games in the Genesis. So it's really helpful if you don't have a Master System. Uh, I do have a Master System. I don't have any of the cables for it, which actually I do now because I just got the power pack, um, as you guys see later. But uh, at the time, I didn't, so I picked this up. Honestly, this is probably more convenient anyway, and it's a really cool piece that I wanted to have for the collection. So Next up, we have a copy of Donkey Kong 3. Super Nintendo, and uh, I traded this also with a guy on Instagram. Um, I think his name is R O'Neill89. Um, I'll throw the links up here so you guys can check them out. They all post like pretty cool stuff. So the next trade again was with a guy from Instagram. Um, his name is uh, Retro Chronicle. We worked something out. I sent him a copy of Sonic CD for the Sega CD, and he sent me this pretty clean copy of Mega Man 3. On Nintendo. Alright, so the next trade was with a guy on Instagram named Mr. Retro Time Arcade. Um, he had seen a couple of things on one of my trade posts I had on Instagram and he pretty much made me an offer and we, you know, worked out a deal. So, first thing he sent me was a uh, Robocop vs. Terminator on the Genesis. And this is missing the manual. Has a couple of stickers on here, but it's in pretty good condition otherwise. Um, I was really looking looking for this game for my collection. I really wanted the Super Nintendo version because the box is like so badass. But uh, I'm happy to grab the uh, Genesis version just because I want to play this game. And next we have a uh, box copy of DuckTales on Nintendo. Again, this is uh, missing the manual. It's also not in the greatest condition. As you can see, there is some creasing here and on, along the sides. But the actual cart itself in really great shape. So I'll show you guys the back of that. Alright, so the last trade was the best trade of all. I did this with a guy named Right0007 on Instagram. Uh, first one, just happy to scratch this one off the list. Contra Hardcore on the Genesis. See the labels in like really good shape. Uh, next up, he sent me a copy of Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube. Then we had Wind Waker. This is only the uh, case and manuals. I already have the disc for this somewhere in the box. Um, I misplaced it somewhere. But uh, I just picked this up to complete my copy. And the last thing on the list, this was I think one of his yard sale finds or something. It's untested. I'm not sure if it works. I'm going to test it later. I actually realized that the uh, you can use one of the other Sega plugs for this, so I want to test this out and check it out if it works. And that is Model 2 Sega CD. Pretty good, pretty good shape. Pops up. Whether or not this actually reads any games is the question. Um, not that I'm all concerned with it because I do have a Sega CDX anyway. Uh, it would be nice to take some of the load off the CDX though and not use that all the time like I'm doing now. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good trade. Really happy to pick up the Model 2. Alright, next up we're going to move to some of my retail pickups. First one. Seems uh, this past weekend there was a frenzy going on at Target. People made out like bandits. Um, there was a whole thing where if you, uh, you could price match a game to Amazon and then you would reserve a game for a dollar at Target. And for doing that it would give you $15 off the game. Then some people were also using the Target Cartwheel app, which was bringing games like Call of Duty Ghosts, 
and Assassin's Creed 4 down to like 36 cents, 38 cents, something like that. Other games like Rayman Legends, was $2.99. Um, what else was there? Beyond Two Souls was like nine bucks. <clears throat> but uh, by the time I found out, it was Saturday night. It was the last day for the sale, and uh, my target was wiped out of stock. The only game that they had there that people that I saw people were grabbing was a uh, Diablo 3. And after the price matching and the $15 off, I grabbed this one for like eight or nine dollars, which is not too bad. Is I really wanted to play this one. The next one, I didn't really see people grab it too much. Um, it was more expensive. I think I price matched it to $30 or $35. And then with the $15 off, it came to around $15 or $20. Bucks. But either way, it's a game I don't have and I really was trying to pick up. Um, it's Gran Turismo 6, PS3. And uh, I checked this one out. I even checked Slick Deals and it looked like the best deal on this was around $40. Bucks. If not, it's going $60 bucks at most places. Um, so to grab this for $15, $20 was a pretty good pickup for me, especially since I've been playing a lot of this since I got it. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys know, I might have said it in a previous video, Toys R Us is having a 60 to 80% off sale on various items marked with colored stickers. So I think yellow and brown is 60, blue is 80, green is 70, something like that. So. First thing I grabbed there was this, uh, it's like just a hard cover for the Wii, the Wii controller, you can see. So it protects the front, so now my beautiful uh, Zelda controller won't get scratched up if it happens to fall over or something. Um, that came to $2 after the percent off. Next up was this Nintendo DS storage tray. You can see it says five dollars and then there's like 80 percent off or 70 percent off this was only a dollar um i grabbed two of these and gave one to somebody um it's really just a piece of plastic but it's really cool i use it to hold my vita and my ds and you know extra little accessories and stuff for it so we got the turtle beach nla headset this is uh technically for the wii u but since it's a 3.5 millimeter jack this actually works with ps4 Wii U, uh, 3DS, um, anything that uses a 3.5 millimeter regular standard headphone jack. So this will work with like any cell phone or whatever. Um, for five bucks, it actually works pretty well. It goes pretty loud. And I was playing uh, Destiny with this, and I had no problems. Nobody had any problems hearing me. So for five dollars, that's a great pickup. And then lastly, um, they had a whole bunch of PS2 games, mostly band hero and like cartoon games and uh, Disney TV shows, Hannah Montana, kind of bullshit like that. They happen to have a copy of Rogue Galaxy sealed, as you can see. Uh, they, this has two barcodes. They scanned both of them and didn't come up. So she went to talk to the manager and they just rang this up for a dollar. Um, the only thing here, I don't know if you can see, it's cracked and the plastic is peeling. But for a dollar, I'm not going to complain. I don't have Rogue Galaxy. This is a game It's pretty high on my list of PS2 games that I don't have. So to pick them up for a buck, 90% uh, sealed, I'll call it. That's a good deal. All right, so let me move on to the garage sale finds. There was maybe only 10, 10 sales that I went to, and maybe three or four of them had actually anything to pick up. The first one I went to was a church sale. Um, it started really early. I got there late. But they didn't have anything anyway. I just picked up a copy of Scribble Knots for the DS. And uh, this was $2, I think. Next sale I went to, they told me the, another person has some stuff in the trunk and they ran to the store to come back in a half an hour. So I went to the next sale, which was only a couple of blocks away. Got a copy of Friday the 13th on the NES. Uh, I actually don't have this game, so picked it up. That was a dollar. There was a whole box of stuff. She said anything is a dollar. So, yeah, Uncharted 2, Portal 2, Little Big Planet 2, Lego Star Wars 3, Katamari Forever, Dragon Age Origins, Dead Space 2, Dead Space 1, Crisis 2, The Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, side note about those games, they're only the cases. I got really excited and made a huge stack. And then she's like, um, you might want to check those first. So I check them. Not one of them had the game in them. 
Um, she said they were her kids and she doesn't look with kids anymore, so they probably just took all the discs and they probably have the games. So I got uh, all those cases for a dollar just to have backup cases or if anything, I could always just grab a disc only and throw it in there. It'll be a lot cheaper than uh, buying it outright. I went back to the sale where they said they were going to have some games and they had this stuff waiting for me. They put it to the side. Um, these, each of these games were $2.50. It was $5 for both of them. So the first one is Super Off-Road on the NES. And this one was really great to pick up. I don't have this. I need this. I have Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. Um, really happy to pick this one up. I think I just need, now I need, uh, Part 2 for the NES. Then I have the complete set there. So, really happy to pick that one up. And it, also, they had... For ten dollars to pick this up, a uh, Sega Sports Dreamcast. You may have seen in um, one of my videos from season one. I picked one of these up for a dollar. Well, that one didn't work, and I tried everything I could to fix it. I tried to align the lens. And spent maybe two hours doing it, and it just wasn't happening. It would not read the disc for anything. So I picked this one up. They told me if it doesn't work, I could bring it back. So I tested it and it works perfectly fine. It booted up Shenmue, it booted up all my other games. So I'm really glad to have this one added to the collection. I actually have a working Dreamcast. And the last thing I found at the garage sales, um, I walked up to this random garage sale. So I figured by the time I got here that there'd be nothing left. But there so happened to be a box uh, on the ground and I just saw this sticking out. Here it is, Model 1 Sega CD with the Genesis. This came with all the cables, both power packs, um, the audio mixing jack, um, three controllers, and that came with the manuals for the Genesis and some other papers and stuff. Then we have the uh, Sega CD manual and all the papers for that one. Copy of Sonic, not for resale of course. Um, I already have all these Soul Feast for the Sega CD. Pretty sure this came with the system. Um, this one's a double. It's Sega Classics and Sherlock Holmes. And that came with both the manuals for that. And then um, this one, Hot Hits and Rock Paintings. Wow, I almost completely forgot about this. Uh, it was sitting in the back. He's a pretty good Craigslist pickup that I had. He held, actually held on to the stuff for me. Uh, the day I went to pick it up was pretty much like the last day he was going to hold it. He said he had a whole bunch of people trying to pick it up. Um, these aren't in the greatest condition. These are all box and manual only. Some of them are box only, but first one is Tiger Heli. Next up is Shinobi. POW Prisoners of War by SNK. Karnov. Rygar. These are WrestleMania Challenge. We have a Ninja Gaiden. The first one. This one's actually in pretty decent condition. Next up, oh man, that's rough. We have a copy of Castlevania. As you can see, this guy wrote his name on it and like outlined the Castlevania letters in pen. This actually completes my copy because this one does have the manual inside. So, pretty happy to grab that one. This one, it was the main reason I wanted it. I was super disappointed because it's like one of the worst ones. It's uh, Mega Man 2. Then we have Skate or Die. Classic. And this is just Jump Mad in 99. And, oh wait, I'm sorry. I found the worst condition box. This is the most jacked up N64 box I've ever seen. It's uh, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. This shit is dangling on my pieces, man. All right, so that's about it for this week's video. I think I did pretty good for myself considering the money and time constraints that I had. Um, hope you guys like what you saw. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Always leave a comment. You know, I love to talk to you guys, which reminds me, hit me on uh, Instagram. Uh, I'll put my Instagram right up here. Uh, it's simply Retro Gaming, all one word. It's pretty easy to find. And uh, until next week, peace. Thank you.